Hey everybody, we are live. I forgot my computer, so I'm doing it on the phone. I'm here with Tessa van der Steen. Hi everybody. Ortho molecular therapist, and she's gonna give us uh, some information on the immune system to make sure Very important. that you guys are solid. I'm just here to give you some tools. I'm not claiming to be anything I'm not. Just giving you tools. That's how we'll speak, but before I start, this is Fab's Fun Day Vlog back in Europe in Amsterdam. I'm gonna give you some good vibes, y'all. Pow, 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 pow! Here we go. You take the floor. All right, so for the people who don't know me yet, I'm an Amsterdam-based orthomolecular specialist. I am seeing people in Amsterdam in my practice where we are right now to uh, help them achieve a better health, uh, improve their immune system. And especially these times that we are living in right now, we want to learn and know all uh, what we can do to improve our body's immune system because there's viruses every year. There's a flu virus, but now this year we have a bad one, the corona. But it's not the end of the world, so if you make sure your immune system is strong, I have five tips for you to do that today, then you'll definitely uh, fight this virus uh, or even totally keep it out of the door. So uh, if you want to start with the first tip, I'll, uh, I'll go ahead. You go ahead. You, yeah? you take the floor because this is your thing. Yes. Alpha molecular therapist, Tessa van der Steen. Well, Here we have go. been working together also for quite some time, so uh, part of his health uh, is yeah what I do, of course. My I, duck. <laughs> I advise uh, yeah Fab about what he has to do uh, with his food, diet, or supplements, detox, the whole thing. Okay, my first tip for you all is start your day with apple cider vinegar. Uh, I wish we had a bottle right here, but it's in my uh, my storage room next door and. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to walk away from the screen because we have a limited so amount good. of time. That's right. But it's um, a solution of uh, fermented apples in water. And uh, what you do is you have your glass of water in the morning, like I, everybody does, I hope. Uh, you put a tablespoon of the vinegar in that water and that will help your body to already fight the first bacteria, fungi, mold, viruses in your intestinal tract. So that's also very important because if you have mold or candida or bacterial overgrowth or even some viruses which many people carry, uh, we all had maybe mono, the kissing disease when we were 15, or any other viruses like herpes simplex, that's the, the, the sore uh, things you can have next to the mouth, cold sores they are called. Um, so we need to keep all the other bad bugs that we carry already with us under control. And you do that with apple cider vinegar. So one tablespoon in water, it's not that tasty. How did you like it first time? Never liked it, <laughs> but now I'm used to it. So after a while you get used to it and you know the benefits are wonderful and amazing, so do it all. It's all about health. Well, first time I took it, I was like, oh, I'm not gonna do this every day, but now I even enjoy it, and it's a nice, fresh kind of start of the day, so, and I know what, what it does to the body, because what we sure. do here at Your Health Coach, that's my company in Amsterdam, uh, we do blood tests, but also stool testing, and if somebody has a, a bad bug, like a candida or a mold or a parasite, I test that and then with sometimes just with one month apple cider vinegar, one tablespoon per day, Bam. it's gone after four weeks. So that's really, really nice. Uh, my second tip is intermittent fasting and I know you've been doing that for quite some time. I have. This is one of the, you see we're unlocking the box for y'all <laughs> and letting you in about on what I've been doing. Lately. Exactly what I do with you that's what we are now giving as five tips to keep your immune system strong so we're definitely giving some tricks because everybody is, is waiting for what is he doing what is why is his body right. look so good why is he so ripped and fit um so the fasting did you th think it was hard or is it easy do you like it mm, the fasting takes it takes us some used to you know but after a while like anything you know what your goal is and the goal was for me to um to get my immune system up. So I felt stronger, especially the days, on the days that I was fasting, going to work out, it felt like, oh, maybe I'm gonna deplete my body, but not, not at all. I no. felt stronger. Gives you more energy. More energy. More energy, yeah. more strength, and more results on, yeah. on, the, on the muscle. Yeah. You know, definition, mass as well. 
So contrary to what people think, oh, not eating is going to make you weak. Not at all. It makes you stronger. I'm proof of that. You know what what fasting uh, does when you don't eat and the intermittent fasting we are talking about is like eating in an eight hour window and fasting in 16 hours. So you basically eat uh, half of the time and uh, fast the other time, other the double double amount of time. So in those 16 hours, your body can finally put all the energy in repair and muscle growth, but also fighting bad bugs and also catching any virus because fighting if you bad eat. Bugs. Your body is distracted and has to digest food. So we love fasting. We do the 8-16. Sometimes you do a 24-hour fast, which is even more effective. And maybe when you got sick in the past, you were like, oh yeah, when I'm sick, I'm never hungry. Well, that's a natural thing because when you don't eat, your body can heal. But what most people think, oh, I'm sick, I have not been eating all day or half day, I need to eat a banana or that sandwich or that cracker or that pasta, that's wrong because those carbs make your body weak. You just need to fast and just give your body the opportunity to deal with those nasty bugs by itself. Uh, and don't distract your body by eating those carbs or whatever foods because your body then goes fully in digestion and the immune system is also stressing out if you eat foods that you cannot handle because that's my tip number three avoid five suspect foods that most people are intolerant to and don't know because when you have a food sensitivity your body um, reacts maybe with some vague issues you know you have some dry skin or some itchiness or maybe you, you're, you're more sweaty or you're, you're cranky mood swings there's all kind of issues that people can have that are related to food and it's your body telling you I don't like that food that you've been eating today like you're being very tired after a meal or you're craving sweets after That's a meal. Right. So my advice to you pay attention to what your body is saying. Listen to your body. Go ahead. I just saw a comment. Le sucre est le poison. poison. Ah, le, le sucre est le poison. Ouais. Le sucre, ça, sucre est le poison. That's right. Absolutely right. Especially when you're sick, right? Um, so yeah, the five suspect foods, maybe you're interested, you want to know. Well, yes. funny enough, when we started with some food sensitivity testing, because I test things in blood, of course, to be sure someone is food sens has food sensitivities. Um, actually, you reacted to all of those five. It's wheat, it's dairy, it's eggs, it's soy, and it's peanuts. Exactly. So those five products you should avoid, and it's difficult. <laughs> Out. It's difficult because they're everywhere, right? Wheat, like bread, crackers, croutons on a salad, a pasta. It's, it's almost impossible to avoid wheat. We do it. Um, Gluten-free is the way to go because wheat is the, the king of the gluten, I always say. And if there's gluten-free stated on a the package, then you know there's no wheat. But in gluten-free products can be eggs, dairy, sugar, peanut and soy. So gluten-free is not... Uh, the way to go uh, if you don't pay attention to the other four. So for dairy, that's everything that's produced by a cow or a sheep or a goat. So any type of milk, cheese, yogurt, you should avoid for a month and especially being sick. So when you think you've caught a virus, uh, maybe even you have coronavirus, if you avoid those foods, you do the intermittent fasting, you take the apple cider vinegar, you will strengthen your immune system already to fight this by itself and you don't need any medicine. Listen, 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 because this is what I've been working with and it's worked for me. And I know you guys say, oh man, you look fit, but you haven't really seen what I look like exactly. Well, lift your but shirt that, up for a <laughs> But that is to be continued in the next music video that will take place whenever we go back to normal. Business yeah. is good, things are moving forward. Let's okay, keep on. so we uh, had wheat, dairy, Eggs. Many think, people think that eggs are very healthy because eggs are great protein source. The egg yolk contains all the vitamins and minerals that we need. But in the egg whites are a lot of antigens. That means it's proteins that our body can react to. Our immune system can react to those proteins. And a lot of people have an egg sensitivity. And even if you eat like um, one or two eggs a week, you can have that sensitivity. But when you are eating more than five eggs a week, seven, 10, I see people that eat 14, 24 eggs per week, they have to stop right away because you are definitely having that food sensitivity already. 
Plus, in that egg yolk of those chickens are many viruses. If you are fighting a virus, you don't want to put any other viruses in your body. <laughs> so, it's maybe shocking to some, but quit the eggs. Exactly. We did it. We, um, me and my practice with many clients, you did it. So, you know, it's it's a very good thing to stay off the eggs and uh, and and just go vegan. You know? And like I said, I'm just sharing with you my tools and what has worked for me. I'm not preaching to you, I'm just sharing. That's what I'm doing. Yeah. So we had wheat, dairy, eggs. Then we have soy. Well, soy is not good for men anyway, so I don't advise any men and boys, young boys, to eat soy. No. But for women, it's also not a good source of protein because uh, it has also those phytoestrogens, which are those fake female hormones that we can ingest, and then our body starts to become more estrogen dominant. And when you're more estrogen dominant, the body starts to store fat on feminine places. So most men, they have the wiggly boobs. That's most of the time an estrogen dominance. And guys, you don't want that. So we call pay that attention. Man, man boobs, right? Man boobs. You don't want man boobs. So pay attention. Boobs. Listen, no soy. No, no soy. So uh, the man boobs, but also the, the love handles or fat in feminine places. The hips. The hips. Some some men that I see, they, they, their bodies look quite, quite feminine. And then the first question I ask them is, like, do you use soy? Yeah, tempeh, tofu, soy milk. Yeah, I, I, I thought it was healthy. I'm vegan. No, because soy is okay if you have the, the fermented soy sauce, for, for example. Uh, tamari is the gluten-free one with, because in all the others is wheat, so you don't want that. But all, everything in moderation. And soy milk, soy, soy yogurt, nobody in, in, in Asia, Japan drinks soy milk, soy yogurt. That's something we are doing in, in America or in Europe. The Western world. The Western world, yeah. That's right. So that's not, not a good thing. Uh, so for the, for the hormones, you don't want it. And if, especially body wise, you know, you don't want any man boobs. Or, uh, and female p people can have more PMS. Uh, so the females, the women can have more PMS or other symptoms, you know. Um, more fat storage in the female places that you don't want so soy is not a healthy food shocking but true last one okay do you, do you last still remember? one peanuts 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 well they are no nuts they don't grow on three trees they go below the ground any tree nuts a pecan a walnut a hazelnut mm. a cashew is fine but the nuts that grow uh, below the ground like peanuts are moldy if you eat moldy nuts you get mold in your stomach, in your gut, in your intestinal system, so that's not healthy. Uh, plus, uh, those peanuts don't uh, even can be called a nut because they are actually a legume. So it's not even a nut. And there's so many other options because what do you use instead of peanut butter? Tahini. Tahini, that's mm. a sesame-based pa pa pasta. Love tahini. But also almond butter, cashew, you know those things. All I those are great. You. Yeah. Which so. you have advise yeah. me and which I love but on the rice cracker. Do, you'd only do tahini out here. <laughs> I like tahini, but... You uh, make sure, that's also the message of these food sensitivities. Um, make sure you vary in your diet because if you eat one thing every day, like maybe tahini, uh, you have to, to cut it out for a full month and then change because otherwise you run the risk. Flip it, just like the workout. To you get know? A, yeah, same, same thing, thing with your workout, yeah. switch your workout. Eat your body from different places. Exactly. So you, you, you run the risk of uh, getting a food sensitivity. So we had the apple cider vinegar, the intermittent fasting, the food sensitivities. Ooh. Two more to go. Let's so, go. <laughs> so uh, vitamin C, I have two supplements to finish with because we need to strengthen our immune system also a little bit by taking some supplements. So vitamin C is proven to strengthen the immune system. I can tell you, China is using vitamin C already in high dose to get people well that have coronavirus and it works. So I advise my clients to take now in these days that we are more under pressure, two grams of vitamin C three times a day. So you have a six gram daily total and that will strengthen your immune system and get your body like, you know, prepared for what's coming. Exactly. If people around you are sneezing, you can even take eight grams, make sure that you divide the doses, but you will pee out also what you don't need. But don't get scared because some people are like, oh, I read online that two gram is the upper safe limit. There is no upper safe limit for vitamin C because it's water soluble. So you pee it out if you take too much. That's right. So 
to explain like your body will use what it needs and reject the rest. Exactly. That's it. And what tip do I give you when you're flying? Vitamin C. Every hour, one gram. For the flight of four hours, you take four grams. For a flight of 11 hours, you take 11 grams. And I can tell you guys, since I've been doing that, because usually I'm on the road the weekend and then the Monday I'm back in the studio. Well, when I started doing this, this uh, vitamin C protocol, Monday morning I was ready to record. No which, jet lag, right? No jet lag and I was, and my throat was also good, my body was ready. Yeah. You know, and also one more thing, the cold shower, the Wim Hof techniques that, you yeah, know, yeah. Tessa brought me and that is like a lifesaver. That cold shower will bring ah, the it's energy. The, it's the immune system that you support, yeah. That's it. And last tip out of five that I have for you today is curcumin. Curcumin is a, a root, a yellow root. It, uh, you can slice it up, put it in your tea, but you can also take it as a capsule and that will strengthen your immune system as well because it's anti-inflammatory. And lots of issues, problems we have these days because of all the sugar, because yeah. of bad diet, stress, alcohol, partying, is inflammation. I can, I can tell you that both, most people that I see in my practice are inflamed, have a lot of inflammation. So giving them the curcumin, 500 milligrams once, maybe sometimes twice a day, it works. And you know when you have a shoulder injury or something, somebody has like inflammation in the shoulder, yeah. you take like six doses uh, for the time of three days, six times 500, it's a high dose, I know, but after three days, the inflammation gone. One more thing, someone asked about ginger. What do you think about ginger? Uh, ginger is also very good because you can put it in tea and it's very, very healing for the body and strengthens the immune system. We uh, advise it to people here in our clinic when they're sick to get the ginger shots, make it in, a, in your juicer or get it at a juice bar. Uh, but it's very good. It's also supporting the immune system. I had five tips, so I had to, of course, make a, I had to choose my, my favorites, but ginger is definitely one that I can add. Yeah. Gingembre, mes amis. Gingembre, oui, c'est bon aussi. Curcuma. <laughs> So we have I, to wrap it up. Huh? I think we have to wrap it up. This is was this was uh, the first installment of Fab's Fun Day vlog because Tessa's got to go. But it was I have a clients, pleasure. But exactly. you know, maybe if I have some time later today, uh, we can do a little follow up um, around two two p.m. or something or one one thirty. Let's figure it out. You know. So I love you guys. I know that it's a really intense time right now. You guys are scared, but I came here to give you some tools that have been working for me because I've, you know, I have a very hectic schedule and this protocol that I've been following has been helping me and I saw the difference before and after. Right now, we all need to have a strong immune system. This is why I came here with Tessa van der Steen, ortho molecular therapist, health specialist. So what we're going to do right now, do you want to let them know where we can find you or? Uh, yeah, I have my website, yourhealthcoach.nl. So it's www.yourhealthcoach.nl. Um, I'm not so big on Instagram or YouTube because I have many clients, so I'm quite busy. So maybe the best thing for us is to do like a one month, uh, five tips to stay healthy kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, and that will do the show. I think my client is here, so I have to, uh, to, to go. But I'll see you guys definitely one other time and um, love talking to you bye bye all right guys so I will be back before I leave I'm gonna give you some good 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 energy this was fat more than yours truly fabs fun day vlog the health edition here we go pow 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 pow, pow. Thank you very much. I forgot my computer, so seeing the comments, I saw them, they come in, in and out, and I don't have time to see them, but right now it's working, so see ya. Hold up. Yeah, you want your own doc. Of course, everybody wants their own doc. Make sure you keep your health, you keep your health strong, your immune system strong during those times. I'm serious, you know, because... Uh, there's a lot of noise, reduce the noise, make your own research, look online, research, research, research. I will try to put some more information in the near future, in the coming days, to reassure you about certain things. But in the meantime, I know it was a lot of information, um, so just go back and watch it over and over and over and over again. Those are the tools that I've been using 
they've worked for me i repeat those are my tools i'm just sharing with you guys i'll be back later or not i don't know we'll see what my schedule is as a matter of fact uh at the gym they're on they only allow uh 100 people in the gym wow so when it reaches that 100 you can come in wow alors au revoir tout le monde bis zum nächsten mal ich halte euch im laufende je vous tiens au courant i keep you posted on everything that's going on i believe that we'll be in this pattern for the for the next two weeks i believe so from what i've listened and watched and heard of that's what it looks like okay so um Thank you. Ich kann auch Deutsch sprechen, ja, nur ein bisschen. <lacht> wann, bist, wann bin ich wieder da? Ich bin nicht sicher. Heute vielleicht in ein paar Stunden. Ich komme zurück auf euch zu. Maybe in a couple hours I'll be back. On se voit dans deux heures peut-être. Faut que je le fasse en français aussi, je sais. Je vais te faire mon mieux, ok? Alors je vous embrasse. I send you love. And don't be scared, because being scared will send stress to your immune system and affect your immunity wall, your immune system. So don't do that. Stay calm. Listen to music. Hold up. Listen to music. All right, now. Time for me to disappear. Um, I'm on my phone, so I'm going to try to do positive vibes. Always. Always. Gros bis, bisou. Let me see what the, okay, all right. All right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> bye bye. I found a way to close it. I forgot how to do it on the phone. Love you guys. Peace. <laughs>